Hello, land investors and outdoor enthusiasts. This is Josh with US Recland. We got another property for you, so we're going to get right to it. Please subscribe to our website, usrecland.com. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell, and be sure that you subscribe because we're offering pre sale offers and discounts, and we will not gum up your email. We're not going to send you 30 emails a day trying to sell you something. We're just going to send you emails with whatever deals, discounts, holiday special we have. That's it. That's all. Maybe maximum four or five emails in a super busy month, if if even that. Most likely one or two emails a month, maybe three, okay? Uh, but definitely uh, get yourself on the subscriber list so that way you can look at property before it ever goes out to the general public at a discount. All right, let's get going. This one's in Putnam County. We're asking 10-9 for the property. It's 1.08 acres, so it's a very nice, large lot. It actually has two access points on it, which we'll get to that in a minute. Just want to go through the basics. Uh, here's your parcel number, assessor's parcel number for Putnam County. If you need to call them, refer to that, and they'll be able to answer all your specific questions. It does have an address. Uh, not all vacant land has an address, but this one happens to. And then you also have your Google XY coordinates that you could use as well to get to the front of the property. Um, but that, like I said, this property can be accessed by two legal access points uh, on the property, and I'll show you that in a minute. Our zoning is residential too. What does that mean? Yes to site-built homes, yes to manufactured homes, and yes to tiny homes. Uh, they have a minimum 500 square foot. That's not very difficult. That's just a big outhouse, all right? Mobile homes, but they have to be manufactured prior to 1976. Again, not a big deal. I can't imagine that there's a mobile home built before 76 that's in good shape at this point anyway, unless it's been sitting in a storage building since it was built. Um, flood zone, none. Wait, wetlands per the wetland registry map. None of those apply based on the national registry uh, map. And here's your taxes, $300 a year. So taxes on the property. And let's take a look at the still photos and then we'll get to the Google map satellite. So really nice little private drive, nice little area. You can see just a nice quiet wooded area, residential area. So here's the access points, okay? So you've got an access point off Wynetta and an access point up here, and I'll, I'll be able to pull it up on the map. I'll show you in Google Maps, it'll, it'll be a little easier because whenever you see these, these are just rough boundary outlines that the county puts on it, and it's kind of off to the actual boundary, okay? Um, but just to give you an idea, here's the subdivision and everything platted out for you. And let's go. And there's a pin for the property. The property actually stems from here. That you have frontage legal access from this, where it terminates in like a cul-de-sac all the way over here. And your boundary is back here for legal access here. So you have two access points to the property. And Silver Lake, Junior Lake, you have multiple lakes in the area for fishing or just recreation. So really nice lot, centrally located around bodies of water. If you like fishing and, and just being around the water in the evening, hanging out, uh, kayaking, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but nice little lot centrally located between water for the uh, water lovers. Loving the aqua. And there's the lot here. And it gets a little rural as we go north, north, northwest. And now you can see we're just just off the St. John's River. Uh, World-renowned bass fishing, Lake George. Uh, a lot of fishing going on. And then you're just hop skipping a jump from the coast to go to the beaches. So you've got the best of two or three different worlds there. <clears throat> Here's another one. 39 minutes to Gainesville. And where are we going? Jacksonville is about an hour and 19 minutes. And let's go take a look. <clears throat> All right. So, again, uh, you can see this is Wynetta Drive. And it, it, it basically, the way it's legally platted out, there's like a uh, cul de sac here. Obviously, they would have to clear the trees. Uh, but this is, you have frontage access here, and you have frontage access here off of Silver Lake Drive. So that big jumbo lot, it's a really oblong shape, but you have two 
two access locations to this property. You don't have to use them, but you have two access locations that are legal access to the property uh, boundary, if you so wish. All right. I, I might, to be honest, I might like this Wynetta access because it's kind of off the beaten path to keep a bunch of traffic from the front access to my property and not even not even develop that. But that's up to you if you want to have two access points centrally located between a number of lakes here. You can see so fishing, kayaking, uh, maybe just hiking around the lake, hanging out in the evenings, getting some exercise in, all kinds of lakes in this area. And I want to zoom in, so I apologize. I want to zoom in. <clears throat> Here's the lot here. I just want to show you uh, some of the uh, things in the area. There's the Exxon right here. Exxon Station. And then you have Route 20 to the south, running through Interlochen out to the coast. And HCA Florida Putnam Hospital. Marjorie Harris Carr across Florida Greenway. And let's back up. So you can see very, relatively close uh, to the St. John's River and uh, <clears throat> the tributaries running in and out of that. And if we continue to go east, we eventually hit the coast with world renowned beaches. Go into the, uh, go to the, you can drive to the beach for the day, spend the day at the beach, hit the restaurants and other attractions and retire to the peaceful, quiet setting of your own rural, uh, rural residential vacation home, whatever that might be. Uh, but it would also be something to look at for investment purposes as well, for personal private portfolio. All right. So for you folks that aren't in the area or don't know, uh, this is where we're at, northern Florida. So if you're coming north, you're not driving down through the entire state of Florida. It's at the north. So if you're in Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama might be something that you're, if you're looking at property in Florida to be within striking distance of driving. So, all right. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. So again, this property, we're asking 10.9. It's over an acre. It's 1.08 acres. And this usually property has two access points. You don't have to use them or if you can develop them if you like. And the residential zoning allows tiny homes as long as they're over 500 square foot mobile homes as long as they were manufactured after 1976 and also site built or manufactured homes. So take your pick how you want to develop the property there. There's no flood zone, no wetlands. You do have buildings in the area. So it's just a matter of where the power utility nearest hub is to connect to the front of your property and your taxes are 300 bucks a year. So uh, cheap, cheap taxes, nothing to break the bank there. So feel free to subscribe to our website, usrecland.com. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. Make sure that you're notified automatically of all of our new land that's coming down the pike to get a video overview listing just like this. And also by subscribing, you're also going to be notified of all of our off-market pre-sale offers for all of our subscribership prior to it being pushed out to the general public. And also any flash sales, discounts, and bundle packages or holiday packages we might be uh, offering to our subscribership exclusively so you can get a great deal on the perfect property that you've been looking for. All right. So until next time, happy land hunting.